Paul here. I have been offline for a few days because I am doing a lot of praying for the things I've been going through. So I arrived at an amazing dream that I worked out with God through prayer and I was being horribly spiritually attacked. And what happened, make a long story short, is that I asked him for a bunch of answers and he gave me a wonderful dream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it House on the Hill. Uh, it's a big one, so I'm going to go quickly through it. Uh, it was a dream I had where I was walking with my family. We went to look at a house for sale. It was a beautiful house on the top of a hill. And we were looking down this beautiful hill, and I noticed there was a river at the bottom. So I told my family, hey, let's go down. And in my dream, I had my brother, his wife, and his kids with us. So we went down the hill, and we saw this beautiful river, and it was shallow. And as we're walking down the hill, and my family continued... I had a feeling suddenly to look to my left and I saw a workshop built into the hill. It was really weird. I saw like a table and I saw the, the workshop and I saw like a billboard with sticky notes and I thought that was really weird. So noticed it, kept going. Get down to the bottom. I see these beautiful trees with vines hanging down from them and we were walking through a minor muddy water and it was just beautiful and I remember thinking, wow, I can go fishing here, you know, so... Anyway, from that dream, it ended there, and I went and wrote a bunch of words. I wrote, like, family, hill, water, house, fishing, vines, tree, tools, notes, workshop, mud, and blackboard. And I only found 12 words, but they equaled 14 scriptures. So this is what I got. So out of family, I got a dream. Um, a friends is to draw attention to your relationship with them. Hill was uh, symbolism, easily overcome obstacle. Uh, it can also be a place in life where you can build work and cultivate good things. Water is symbolizing of the Word of God and sanctification. River is symbolic of life's journey and the river is calm. If the river is calm, it's a symbolism of God's blessing. And also river can also be the Holy Spirit. So house, a uh, place where you live um, and if you have good things stored in your house, it means you're a wise person. Uh, vines is a symbolism of Christ. And outstretched vine is also symbolism of a good influence, a great influence. Tree, this was an interesting one. Trees are people or nations. The church is also depicted as a tree. Uh, tree is a symbolism. It's also symbolizing of a prosperous person. Billboard is a sign of a warning a marker, something you need to see and pay attention to in a dream. Uh, notification was the closest word I came to notes. Symbolism of your actions in life. If your life is virtuous and the notes will scream or sound out of tune. And finally, the last word was mud. If a person is covered in mud, it may symbolize them being tainted or spotted or in sin. So here are the answers I found. Uh, Jeremiah 12.6 is attached to family. For even your kinfolk and your family, even they have dealt treacherously with you. They are in full cry after you. Do not believe them, though they speak friendly words to you. Hill was a Psalms 43.3. Oh, send out, their li send out your light and your truth. Let them lead us. Um, let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. And it was in Isaiah 7.25. And as for all the hills that were used and to be hoed by a hoe, you, not, you will not go there for fear of briars and thorns, but they will become where cattle will be let loose and where sheep tread. Water was Ephesians uh, 5.26, in order to make her holy by cleansing, in order to make, sorry, to make her holy and, holy and cleansing her with the washing of water by the word. So I think water and reading the Bible are, go together. Uh, rivers of Deuteronomy 8, 7. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, and the land where flowing streams with springs and underground waters welling up in the valleys and hills. Love that one. Uh, next one was a continuation of rivers. was a John 7, 38, 39. And let the one who believes in me drink. As the scriptures have said, out of the believer's heart will flow rivers of living water. 
Now he said this about the spirit which believes in him were to receive, for as yet there was no spirit because of Jesus was not yet glorified. I love that one. That one's attached to the river flowing out of you is the Holy Spirit. And Jesus was saying, you will all have this, but not yet because he hadn't been glorified yet in his ministry. Houses of Proverbs 21.20 uh, the wise store up choice food and olive oil, but fools gulp them down. Vines was symbolizing of John 15, 1. I am the truth and my father is the gardener. I love that one. Jeremiah 43, 32 was also attached to vines. I, I weep for you as Jazer weeps for your vines in Shema. I looked that up. Uh, Simma is a town in the Reuben territory. Your branches spread as far as the sea. They reach out as far as Jazer, which is a city by the Jordan River by Gilead. The destroyer has fallen on your ripened fruit and grapes. So that's like a disaster coming your way. And tree is a really big one here. Tree is a Daniel 420 to 22. The tree you saw, which grew large and strong with its top touching the heavens visible to the whole earth and i remember in the dream the trees were glorious they were very big uh, matthew 13 31 to 32 is also in there another parable put he forth unto them saying the kingdom of heaven is like the grain of mustard seed which man took and sowed in the field which indeed is is of the least of all the seeds but when it was grown it is the greatest among herbs and becometh a tree so that the birds in the air command lodge and the branches thereof there was a psalms 52 8 attached a tree but i am also a green olive tree in the house of god i trust in the mercy of god for e forever and ever billboard was in isaiah 8 1 moreover the lord said on to take the great rule and to write it in with man's pen concerning masher shale hashbaz which means hurry to the spoils. And then finally, mud was Isaiah 57, 20. Um, but, the whip, the, but the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters upon the mire and the dirt. Now, at first glance, this doesn't seem like much. But in fact, this dream is incredibly, incredibly important because people, I'm going to put the scriptures on the bottom and I want you to go reread them. It's talking about head in the direction of Jesus, head in the direction of God. If you are and you're experiencing all those spiritual attacks of the wicked, you're on the right path. Stay on the right path. People, when I put down that last video regarding our president there, you have no idea. I must have hit the biggest nerve in the spiritual world because I had never been attacked like that. It was so bad. It was like I was having a heart attack. Anyway, worked it out prayed, got through it, and that was the prayer that Jesus sent me through the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, if you're feeling alone, isolated, all the crazy stuff that goes with spiritual attacks, you're on the right path. Stay that way. Seek out the vines of the world. Seek out Christ. Read the Word. The Word of God is the biggest sword you can put in your hand. You'll be able to fight. Put on the armor of God. Seek houses. Seek water. Purify yourself. Stay away from the wicked. Don't isolate yourself. God wants you to be happy. Don't forget, our Father created the mountains, the sky, the trees, all the beautiful things in this world. Be proud of our God. Be proud of who you are. You're part of his family. Of course the enemy is going to go after you. He doesn't want you to be happy. Anyway, this is a bit of a more serious one, and I'm rushing through it. I want you to know this one is one I want you to heavily pray on. Purge your heart. Ask for God to reveal the good in you, in Him, through the Holy Spirit. I want to close this with a prayer. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving me this wonderful message to pass on to others. Thank you, Jesus. I come to you on my knees in, my, in spirit, in front of you, Jesus, in your throne room. Me and every believer that is watching this, give us the gift of discernment. <clears throat> Allow us to see your glory. Let us sharpen our iron versus iron with all of us, all the brothers and sisters. Let us get the armor of God on. Give us the sword through your word to fight these spiritual battles. 
Thank you, Lord, for your love, for your trust. Thank you, Lord, for giving us everything we need to get through this together. We are so excited you're coming for us. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Our Father is coming to get us through the wonderful Lord Jesus Christ. God loves us more than we have any idea. Please pray on this, people. Like it, share it, do what you want. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.